All right, I'm just going to get it straight into it. This isn't an episode I ever thought I'd make. I'm going to forego the introduction, and just for the sake of anyone who's clicking on this without knowing what this game is, I'm just going to give a little backstory. I'm Baby Boomer Gamer, BBG. I've made 370 now videos on this game. I've helped over 100,000 people navigate the early, middle, and late stages of this game, and I really enjoy doing that. But now the player base has come to a point with the developers where it's practically irreconcilable, to be completely honest. But this story starts a while back when this app actually got removed from the Play Store. You couldn't download it anymore, and absolutely no reason was really given. There were rumours, there were like theories, you know, developers blamed Play Store. Some people thought the developers were working on something else and they screwed up. But as far as I'm aware, no official like cause was given. They just pushed through it, got it re-established back on the Play Store and, and kind of tried to brush it under the carpet. Which, I mean, that was probably the first red flag. But there's been many red flags from these developers, I'm not going to lie. Over the course of four years, there's been plenty of things that have happened that have been more than enough to raise suspicion. But it's just, you don't really want to face that when you're deep into a game like this. But then we come to the crux of the issue, the actual major problem that everyone is currently grappling with, shall we say, and that was the apology for the store being offline. They ended up setting up a rebate thing. You buy premium currency, you get X amount afterwards, after the purchase. Now, what everyone didn't know was that by accepting the Spirit Jade rebate that they got in the mail and using that Spirit Jade, they would get banned. And this seems to be a problem that has only happened in the East servers, not the West servers for this game, which is also interesting. But basically, after everybody got banned for using this Spirit J, they were pretty much told it was their fault, their accounts were locked. And then they were told they had to go to a website in order to buy packs, in order to level their account. So the way it worked is, whatever you spent became a negative. And if you were in the negative, you got banned. They called it temporary ban, but they basically want you to spend more money to top up what you weren't supposed to have before. And my question is like, if this was an error on their side, why are they banning people for it? All they had to do was own it. That's all they had to do. And this website that you get sent to in order to actually top up on it is a literal scrolling hellscape of packs, which is... Honestly, I'm not even a while, and I feel like that's an absolute slap in the face when I look at this page. Especially if you spent a lot and you got a lot of rebate and the rebate was wrong because of them. That's crazy to me. And of course, we're going to go into a bunch of interesting proof screenshots and other evidence that we're looking up here. Now, this first one, you can see it's this is in the customer service of the game. It's literally telling them that you need to top up 4,000 Spirit Jade, and then we will deduct the Spirit Jade you recharge, and your account will be unblocked after this deduction. Absolutely crazy to me that they would even dare to do this. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even sure this is allowed, but it's wild. How am I supposed to top up if I'm banned? I don't see any plan by the operation team. Use web deposit to deposit SJ, and just links you to the thing. I can't even... It makes me angry just seeing that. I'm not even the one that was sent to. Absolutely crazy to me. If your account has not been unblocked yet, it's because you've used too many spirit jades that were extra sent by the system. After deducting part of your items, yeah, they took your shit as well that was sitting in your inventory to help pay for the spirit jade that they gave you. If you want to unblock it, you need to recharge and then we'll deduct from what you've reached. It's Absolutely insane to me that this is the the tact, the plan, the, the way that they decided to solve this problem. <laughs> I can't I can't even and this rebate apparently went up to at least the highest I've seen and the highest that's been sent to me is 4.5k, which is an awesome amount of spirit jade, and no one's gonna question that realistically. It was sent to you. What are the chances they screw up premium currency? Like that what are the chances? Now, it's happened before, and I will literally link you to the video where a precedent has happened, where they did a Spirit Stone debt, which was not the premium currency, but the one you earn in the game. This has happened before, and they put people into the negative for Spirit Stones, but it's, it's entirely different doing it to premium currency and forcing people to buy more Spirit Jades. Because that's what this is. Your account's gone unless you spend more money. Like, what even is that? And we're not even talking about... People that have only spent a few dollars. It happened to them too. 
it happened to them too. But we're also talking about people that have hundreds of thousands of top up. Some of the biggest whales in the game have been banned from this. And I can only imagine what their spirit jade amount is in the negative. And they'll, they need to top up more in order to get access back to their account. Imagine having 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 top up and your account's been locked because you absentmindedly claimed the rebate that you thought you were going to get and you thought would have been calculated correctly. And honestly, it only, it just gets worse. Like one of their announcements from yesterday literally admitted to making the mistake and anyone who owed between one and 300 or owe less than that were already unbanned. But they were banned too, mind you. And they're saying that the people that owe thousands will still need to top up in order to actually like balance their account, so to speak. But it's crazy the way they worded this. They are likely maliciously exploiting game anomalies. It's unfair for the players who have not received Spirit Jade or saw the abnormality of the game, but still played it normally and reported the abnormality to us. They shouldn't bear injustice because of their kindness. What are you even talking about? It's your fault. You should have just owned it. Been like, yep, whoops, my bad. Enjoy your few thousand extra Spirit Jade. Not cause an absolute dumpster fire of a thing. There are people getting constantly muted and banned in the Discord now. It is low-key hilarious because people just don't care anymore. They just, they just absolutely don't care anymore. And these mutes are for weeks as well. It's now at the point where people have made social media accounts and they're altering the wiki for Immortal Towers to self. I mean, the wiki has already been changed. Basically saying... This is a free-to-play scam game. A fun game where your account can get banned even though the reason was a mistake on the developer's part. Like, it's not good. Then there's a friggin' TikTok that's been made literally yesterday about Immortal Towers to the scam. There's new profile pictures going around of that exact image there above Immortal Towers to the scam. That's going around a lot. And there's even been a video made by a bunch of high paying whales who have basically been like, yeah, we're banding together. We're making this because we've been scammed basically. And now they want us to pay for their own mistake. And these guys have access to VIP customer service, like, and they don't get anything. The scariest part is the fact that some of them have reached 170,000 USD top up, $170,000. And there's still people coping in the Discord, the main Discord, talking about how if it seems too good to be true, you shouldn't have done it. And that's not, that's not at all the point here. The point here is shouldn't be, ah, it happened to people who took the extra and then used it. Who cares? No, 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 no. It's way scarier than that. The point here is they banned the whales. Okay, that's the scary part. If they're banning the whales, you mean nothing. <laughs> okay, that's... That's the point I want to make here. This absolutely screams of a last second cash grab before server shut down. I hope that's wrong, but at this point, I think people are angry enough to warrant something pretty major happening. And from the looks of it, Apple support is being pretty damn serious about it. I mean, they basically said it should get reviewed soon as the more people who report it become flagged for review. I can gather those steps for you now. And basically, this is telling the uh, extremely irate, I might add, person who's contacted Apple support to go into their app, find the product page, and then like try and find the app support. And if you don't see that option, then go to the developer website and see if you can report there. Interestingly, the developer website, it, it doesn't have options to actually report anything. So it comes back to leaving a review on the app. And I'm not going to lie, I don't think this is the only person that is being told to leave bad review and then start getting it flagged, about to go into the process of being removed from the Play Store again, which is absolutely crazy when they're actually saying, I'd advise your player base to do so also. Like, what? that's really where it's at. And then, of course, went a bit more deeper into it with, uh, you know, met some people who spent 20 to 50k USD, and there's plenty that have spent more than that and also been banned. And they spent that amount because obviously it was normal use, but now they've been banned and unless they pay, they can't have it back. And that's obviously messed up. They paid for things, had it, and now it's been taken away unless they pay again. It all, it just, it screams bad, you know? And immediately, 
Apple support is like, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. That does seem like a scam since you already paid for that content that it's asking you to buy again. So it's basically a 48 hour window to see if the developers let you use your account again. And if not, escalating further. That's going to be an interesting thing if enough people leave a bad review to actually try and get this removed from the App Store or blocked because that's really where it's at. And uh, another thing that I noticed was that there were mods in the official Discord who had basically been told to delete complaints and proof of what's happening here, including the video I just showed you, including the profile picture image that I showed you earlier. One of them even said, imagine wanting one of the players who you banned to do the work and remove vids like this of people complaining about being banned. Like, wow. Wow. I cannot even imagine the level of audacity one has to have to be like this. And to the remainder of the people in the Discord saying that, yeah, it happens, just top up more. I don't know why you think you're safe. <laughs> They banned some of their biggest spenders and y'all are probably happy because you're also spenders and now you can actually rank better. But boy, I wonder how long that's going to go on for. But I don't think there's much point in me making this video any longer than it needs to be. Things are happening, steps are being taken, and I hope the developers pay for what they've done, pretty much. They messed up and then attacked the player base. That's basically the TLDR of it. And of course... I've already stepped back from this game, but hearing about this, I obviously had to come back and be like, wow, that's messed up. I'm not even sure what the fix is for this now for the developers. They've already alienated some of their highest spending players. So beginning of the end isn't really something I wanted to say. I always wanted to be sitting there at the end of this game when the servers were shutting down from natural causes, the natural product life cycle, which is what happens with every game. There is a product life cycle and five years for a mobile game is pretty long to begin with. And I wanted to be there when the servers shut and turned to ash so I could die with the servers like I started with them. But instead, all the servers are on fire and the ash tastes like ass. And I'm sat here needing to freaking put this out here because they're banning everyone who's talking about it. Well, you can't ban me, because I've been banned from that Discord multiple times anyway. But that's it, I'm done. For anyone personally affected by this, leave a comment just talking about it, and we need to try and get this out to people. Bigger people, anyway. There needs to be some ramifications to this. I don't want this to be buried, but I'm not big enough to affect a change that's like large enough to do something about this, I'm afraid. People who've been affected, I hope you don't let it get to you too much, but I... I can see that being hard to do. God. Subscribe, comment, etc. I'm out.